Hi, my name is Chris Pontius. I work for the Mass Nurses Association. And I'm here today to introduce a video that we at MA wanted to provide for our membership and, and others who would like to view it. The issue and the topic has to do with reuse and the donning and doffing of personal protective equipment. This is a huge issue right now in the current situation we are in. We at MA want you to know that we are doing everything to promote and provide the highest protection known to date. Thank you very much for your work. We honor our frontline workers, and once again, we are doing everything to fight for the highest possible protection for our workers. For novel pathogens such as novel coronavirus, MERS-CoV, or avian influenza, the recommended additional precautions are airborne, droplet, and contact precautions. These require you to wear the following personal protective equipment. Gown, fit-tested, seal-checked N95 respirator, face shield, and gloves. When donning PPE, perform hand hygiene for 15 seconds. Apply one to two pumps of alcohol-based hand rub to the palms of dry hands. Rub hands together, rubbing palm to palm, in between and around the fingers, on the back of the hands, as well as the fingertips and nail beds. Continue rubbing until hands are completely dry. Hand hygiene using alcohol-based hand rub is the preferred method. Use soap and water only when hands are visibly soiled. Tie back long hair if applicable. Do not bring unnecessary equipment in the room. Inspect your equipment for any damage prior to donning each piece. Clean shaven, don your gown. Tie around the neck and around the waist. Secure gown using a bow that can easily be untied. Ensure all clothing is covered by gown. Lift your chin and place your fit-tested N95 respirator over your nose and mouth. Stretch the bottom strap over your head and place it on the back of your neck. Ensure strap is on bare skin only, no loose hairs. Place the top strap on the crown of your head. Ensure that the straps are not overlapping or crossed. Check if mask is properly formed to face. Ensure no fold by running fingers along the edges of the mask. Mold the metal nose strip to conform to the shape of your nose. Do this by placing both your middle fingers at the bridge of your nose and use your index finger to press along the edge of mask along from the sides of your nose into the cheeks creating a good seal. Repeat pressing index fingers with pressure, especially alongside of the nose. Perform a seal check by placing your hands at the side of your face at eyebrow level without touching the mask. Exhale quickly once to check if air escapes the mask and hits the palms of hands. If you feel leakage, readjust the fit of your N95 respirator and perform another seal check. Don your face shield by placing the strap at the back of your head. Ensure that the top of the face shield is resting in the middle of your forehead. Put on your gloves. Ensure that gloves are placed over the cuff of the gown so that the skin of your wrist is not exposed. Perform a final personal protective equipment check prior to going into the room. Alternatively, have a colleague perform the final check. After entering the patient's room, keep hands away from your face. Only open one door at a time to maintain negative pressure in the room. The doffing process poses the highest risk of transmission to healthcare workers. Make sure to take your time removing your personal protective equipment. A guide will be posted in the anteroom outlining the steps of PPE removal for staff. Please refer to this guide when doffing your PPE. Step into the anteroom and ensure the door is closed behind you. Remove gloves using the glove-to-glove -glove and skin-to-skin -skin technique. Place in the garbage. You may perform hand hygiene at this time if there is any concern your hands became contaminated during glove removal. Next, untie the gown around your waist and at the neck. Grab the straps from the back of the neck and slowly pull the gown forward and peel it away from you, touching only the inside of the gown. Be careful not to let the gown touch your clothes. Roll the gown into a ball Place the reusable gown in the laundry hamper. If you are using a disposable gown, dispose of it in the garbage. Perform hand hygiene for 15 seconds.
Remove the face shield by grabbing the strap at the back of your head. Slowly remove it down and away from your face using the sniff position. Bend forward, eyes forward, chin out. Dispose of the face shield into the garbage. Remove your N95 mask without touching the exterior part of the mask, again using the sniff position. Remove one strap at a time, starting with the bottom strap first and removing the top strap last. Remove the straps by grasping them from the back of your head. Dispose of the N95 respirator in the garbage. Perform hand hygiene. Rooms with anterooms are the preferred accommodation for patients under airborne droplet and contact precautions. If there is no anteroom, remove all PPE inside the patient room at the doorway, with the exception of the N95 respirator, which must be removed in the hallway. Okay, so now that you have viewed the video, I will just say that we uh, will recommend, and do recommend, <clears throat> sanitizing your hands in between taking off the um, mask, for example, and putting it back on. That is the only uh, additional recommendation m and would make at this time, is to use hand sanitizer in between your procedures as much as possible. If there's a, a chance that you think you may have touched or contaminated a surface. We will put information from the World Health Organization on our website for more information regarding the reuse of personal protective equipment. Thank you for your continued work, and we wish you the best from M&A.